everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Jodie Lakin and today I thought I would do a little bit of catching up in my journal my little art journal that I started when I was doing art journal in the magic so um, yeah I, I was just looking through it and I was thinking there's quite a few pages that are still empty and I would really really like to do a flip through of this journal one day um, so I thought I would have a little look through and see if there's any empty pages and how many things I need to <laughs> fill up and there's still quite a few pages left so but I'm um I'm impressed I'm impressed with my progress <laughs> I don't think I've ever finished um, a sketchbook or an art book so today I thought it would be very cute to draw one of these little cup, teacup people, <laughs> is what I want to call it. Um, the other day I just drew myself on the right here in a teacup wearing little Shelly Mae ears and if you've ever been to Tokyo Disney Sea, I'm sure you are aware of the characters Duffy and Shelly Mae. They are very popular in Tokyo Disney. But if you don't know, then Duffy is actually Mickey's teddy bear, I think, that Minnie Mouse bought for him. So I think that's the story of Duffy and Shelley Mae. I actually have a fun little story which is why I wanted to draw myself in this teacup because the very first time I went to Tokyo Disney Sea, I really, really, really wanted a cup of tea. So we were there for three days and I couldn't find a, you know, like a standard English breakfast tea with milk. I couldn't find it anywhere. <laughs> And then the very last day I found it and it was in this little um, Shelly Mae Duffy cup and I put some milk in there and it was the best tea I've ever tasted in my life because <laughs> I'd wanted it so badly and I didn't really know that they didn't do breakfast tea in Japan. I know now that they mainly have green tea if you ask for tea um, or they don't usually have milk so lesson learned <laughs> but that's the little story behind this and I wanted to tell you about something very strange that happened in my art room <laughs> so it's been minus 18 degrees here in Japan Celsius and as you can see my water froze I could not believe this happened to me <laughs> but I had my little uh you know water for my watercolors and it looked a bit cloudy which I thought was unusual so I just went over and looked and yes there was actually a block of ice in there I could not believe it <laughs> we don't have central heating here in Japan and we just rely on these really small little heaters to warm us up so yes I couldn't believe I couldn't believe my water had frozen. Um, has this ever happened to you before? <laughs> Do you live somewhere really cold where this might happen to you? <laughs> I was really, really surprised by it, but um, it made me laugh anyway. So I'm painting with ice cold water and I have no idea if that makes any difference to the paints or the way they come out. If you know anything about that, I would absolutely love to know. I'm really interested in if it actually made a difference in the the way the paints came out. I'm really not sure. But anyway, I decided to paint this uh oh it's Jack actually, it's my husband Jack. <laughs> I did him in a taller cup than my cup because he's taller than me and I gave him the really cute uh, Duffy ears which you can get at Tokyo Disney and um, I just thought I'd do a little close up of me painting these three little sweets. I don't really know what they are I'm going to say bonbons because I really like are they bonbons or bonbons? Bonbons. I really like bonbons so I'm going to say they're three little bonbons and a little cake and actually the other inspiration for this was I had a advent calendar and inside were these little Mickey Mouse shaped biscuits. So I, if you look on the picture on the right, the one of me, I did do a little Mickey Mouse shaped biscuit. <laughs> so it was really cute. Yeah, I also wanted to point out that I didn't really like the colours that I used in this, but these are Jack's favourite colours, so I did want to do his teacup in those colours. But I didn't really like it at first, but after adding the Posca pens, I found that it really brought 
it out and it made it look so much better I was really surprised because initially I really wasn't liking it too much I think the colors mm, I don't know if I was too happy with them but after I added the Posca pen like I said it would just I just really like them I thought they just sat really nice together I also really want to challenge you guys to do this if you like it and you think it's cute I think you should definitely put yourself in a teacup and actually I should mention that I saw James Burke do this um, around Christmas time so without a doubt that's like been stuck in my mind and I've wanted to create this um, so yeah so if you want to do this you should have a go it's really fun and it's kind of nice to imagine yourself in a nice warm <laughs> in a nice warm uh, bath it's really cute so and I just want to mention that I noticed that a lot of you have subscribed from last week and I'm really 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 excited I'm really happy about it and I just wanted to say thank you so much if you have subscribed and I really hope you're enjoying what I'm putting out I just absolutely love filming these videos there's really not a lot for me to do at the moment and where I live I've mentioned a few times I live in the countryside where there's really not a lot to do um in the countryside in Japan so this is everything for me right now and I'm really really enjoying it. I find it so relaxing and I feel like my art is slowly improving and that's the whole point. It was like to come on a little bit of a journey, find my art style and sort of um, hone some things that I've been trying to do for a long time. I've always enjoyed art but I've never been the best artist. Um, I've always been okay <laughs> like I was never the best in my class I'm not the best drawer so it's really nice and it's really fun for me to um, rediscover this and sort of improve on it and if I get to a point where after you know six months or a year I've improved then I'm going to be so happy about that because that is really my only goal to just see where this little art journey takes me and after adding what am I adding there a little bit of cream because I imagine Jack would be in a hot chocolate and I don't know why I just imagined that he would be in a hot chocolate with cream on top and uh, so I added a little bit of cream there and some highlights in the eyes and I really like the way I did the eyes too um Jack he looks a lot cuter than my character <laughs> but I don't really mind that I like them to look a bit unusual um and that's it i finished i added the little steam and i finished so i really really enjoyed this one and i really hope you do give it a go if you do i would love you to tag me on instagram my instagram is at jody lakin art and yeah please tag me on there but anyway <laughs> i'll see you guys next sunday with a new video take care bye Yay!